Hi Harry, well done in the lesson today. Uh, so I just thought I'd do a quick video on the piece for this week. Um, so let's just recap what we learned today. We learned two new words. We learned the word chord, C-H-O-R-D, and that means when you're playing more than one note at once. So this is a note, and this is a chord. And if you remember, on the page after this in your book, there's a page on rests, and we started talking about how um, every note has a rest as well. Uh, so you can have a crotchet note or a crotchet rest, or a minim note or a minim rest, and so on. Um, so have a look at the page after this in your book on rests this week, and we'll do some more on that next week. But for now, let's just talk about this piece. So as we said in the lesson, we're going to break it up into bits. So I would practice the first bit, do 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 as one bit, and then start here. I think there's a little line on your, um, I think you drew a line there that hasn't come out on my on my copy. Then start here, do 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 to here, where I've done a little arrow. Then we'll practice the chord bit on its own. Um, up to this arrow here, and then practice the last bit, and then start trying to do the whole thing. Uh, so tips for this, you're using your left hand, then your right hand, then your left hand, then your right hand, then both hands. So keep your right hand ready at the keyboard rather than down by your side, uh, so you don't have to suddenly bring it up to play. Have it ready and waiting. Um, and also, try to look up at the music where these marks are that we're practicing to because these marks tend to be on a long note so you've got time to just move your eyes up from the keyboard up to the music and just have a little check where you are uh, and remember this G here that we've circled uh, that can get lost easily um, and yeah I'll just quickly play it through so you, you know how it's meant to sound we've got four beats in each bar four crotchet beats in each bar so it's going to be like this Good, and make sure you're playing the right number of repeated notes. We've got three C's here, we've got three C's there, we've got two A's, two E's, two D's, and these you'll just have to count as you go through them um, and keep looking up at the music as to where you are so you don't play too many or too few. Uh, anyway, I've rambled on for far too long. So I hope it all goes well. You were playing it really well when you left, uh, so I'm looking forward to hear hearing it next week. Any questions, let me know, and I'll see you soon. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.